Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, July 20th, 2012. Our top story comes from the world of physics, but it's a bit different. Normally on Brainstorm, we like to highlight important and or interesting developments that generally have real-world applications, even if they are far in the future. However, this story is mostly theoretical and mainly just interesting, also slightly depressing because it relates to the end of the universe. As you probably know, the entire universe is expanding, with galaxies and other large objects moving away from each other. This expansion is also happening at an accelerated rate, leading physicists to predict that eventually matter will be spread so thin the entire universe will basically cool down. While most people probably don't like thinking about the eventual death of literally everything, a theoretical physicist at MIT had an idea for something that could survive the heat death of the universe. That something is actually a computer, but as you might have guessed, not a normal computer, but one based on crystals. A crystal is essentially a material in which the atoms are arranged in a regular repeating pattern, and they take that form because it requires the least amount of energy. So the main idea behind this computer is what has been dubbed a time crystal, a rotating formation of atoms that has a repeating pattern in space and time. A general problem with the time crystal idea is that things that are actively and consistently rotating generally aren't in their lowest energy state. Thermodynamics is a bitch, but thanks to quantum mechanics, there is hope, with a potential time crystal design that could theoretically work. Specifically, a small group of ions trapped inside an electric field and then cooled to form a ring-shaped crystal, because ions trapped at extremely low temperatures repel each other. A weak magnetic field causes the ions to begin spinning, then the quantum mechanics kicks in, preventing the rotation from reaching zero when the crystal is at its lowest energy state. Ion trapping technology would need to advance before this was even attempted, and even then it would be difficult given the extremely low temperatures needed. If created, though, the crystals could be linked together and form a computer, with rings rotating in opposite directions with different ion types affecting each other. Next is a quick update from the world of robotics. Scientists over at Georgia Tech have developed a new kind of actuator heavily inspired by biological muscles. These actuators are mainly made from piezoelectric materials, which we've discussed before on Brainstorm for their ability to generate electricity from mechanical stress. But that can go both ways. When power is being put into the materials, it can cause them to expand or contract. The direct conversion of electricity into movement is meant to mimic how nerves interact with muscles. To continue this bio-inspired theme, a number of the piezoelectric devices were connected in a hierarchical cellular structure. In this formation, the overall range of motion was increased, allowing the scientists to construct a useful device, which was making a realistic robotic eye with a camera and the new piezoelectric-based actuators, allowing for more accurate emulation of human eye movement, relevant to research and practical robotics. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description. Also feel free to contact us. We're looking for more volunteer researchers to help with brainstorm and biohacks.